What's going on guys, Fuller Girl here. In today's video, kind of a different type of video, I'm going to be going over the top 5 things that you should know about the new Fall Guys Season 2 mid-season update from settings to map changes and bugs that you've missed. Before we get into the video, if you can leave a like, and also 90% of the people who watch my videos are not even subscribed to my channel, so make sure you click the subscribe button so you get notified whenever I make more Fall Guys content and that really make my day. Let's get right into the video. The fifth thing I'll be going over will be the new bug hotfixes that Fall Guys recently fixed. I'll be showing on screen the list of bugs Fall Guys fixed, but the first one they fixed was falling through tiles on Hexagon. This one was a pretty big bug, especially if you fell through the tiles all the way into the slime. I know a lot of people always wanted this bug to be fixed, and now it is. Second bug Fall Guys fixed was losing jump inputs, especially on Jump Showdown. This was when you jumped and went over an edge or crack and especially on Jump Showdown where you went over one of the platforms and that it would take your jump and you wouldn't be able to jump. The third bug is not being able to grab the crown on Fall Mountain and hanging from it instead of winning. This was a huge bug fix that Fall Guys fixed and a lot of people complained about this not being fixed but now it finally is fixed. So that's good. Fourth bug fix was the infallible achievement sometimes not unlocking. Personally I didn't really know about this bug until I read the patch notes but that's good I guess. Especially if you don't get the achievement, that would be pretty bad. The fifth bug fix was falling on flat surfaces. This is a pretty good bug fix one, especially if you are running in the lead and fell over randomly. The fourth thing I'll be going over is the new content updates they added to the mid-season update. I'll be showing a list of the things they added that came with the patch notes, but some of these updates in my opinion were pretty good, especially for the mid-season update, and they also added some good features too. First couple features they added are new variations throughout the game, basically I'll be showing all the maps that had different variations to them. The things that went into the maps were beam spawning in, thick bonkus, big yeetus, the slicing things, random seesaws, random fruit getting shot at you, and other things as well. The maps they added this to was perfect match, slime climb, whirly gig, night fever, fruit shoot, rollout, hit parade, and jump club. I think there might be others that I missed, but these are the main ones. The other things they added were featured crown costumes now available in the regular store rotation, so basically the bottom part of the store that is random for everyone. So there could be a higher chance of you getting the bullet skin. They also added that the show selector now lets you queue for multiple shows at the same time, improved stability when playing in parties, and also a new language selection option in game. They also lowered chance of medieval rounds, perfect match, and tail tag. The third thing I'll be going over is the new naming system that Fall Guys implemented into the update. This is basically for PC only, and I think some people on PC were pretty disappointed in it, because it wasn't something we thought it would be. Like the naming system is randomly generated and randomizes different words together to create a name for you, so the names are pretty random, but some people have gotten some pretty cool names as well. The second thing I'll be going over is the new server region selector they added. Why this is super good that they added is because now if you're AU or Asia servers that you can customize and select the most popular region like North American servers and European to find matches easier. I'll basically show you how to find this setting and how to change it as well. Alright so basically where you want to go is to the settings page. Uh, all you have to do is click on options and from right here you can do a server uh, region selector. So basically I could be go wherever I want. Uh, Europe, Australia, Asia. So for people basically on uh, Australian servers, they can now click on uh, European or South American or even US servers so that they can find games and stuff. So which will make it easier for people to uh, play games in uh, those regions that are not as popular. The final thing I'll be going over is the new map they added called Big Fans. This new map they added was uh, awesome and I think it was a great map they added. This is not only hard, but it requires skill to get past each section until the finish line. I talked a little about the leak for this map, and some things were correct and some were not, but the main idea of you having to jump on fans to get to the finish line was correct. Tell me in the comment section what you think of the new map they added, and do you like it? Hopefully you enjoyed the video, I'll try to get another video out during the week, and I'll usually be uploading during weekdays, so make sure you're subscribed so you get notified when I do. Also, another reminder to join my Fall Guys community Discord, link will be in the description of my video and comment section, so come join and say hi to me. I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.